Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the graduates. Showed up too every day. Went so fast. They showed up. It's good to have them back in person again. Yeah, to, be, right. to be with them and hang out. It makes a difference. It's huge. Maybe 
they came every day. I think they miss being with, with other people and adults as much as the, 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 the You miss them too. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the graduating class of 2021. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance by Mr. Treshawn Jefferson. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. all right, Great job. Please take a seat. First, I'd like to welcome my distinguished guest here tonight, Superintendent Thomas, Mayor Sullivan. We have a few extra guests here. Uh, Joyce Azak, School Committee, Tim Sullivan, School Committee. Oh, I missed down here. Jack Lally, <laughs> City Councilor. Judy Sullivan, School Committee. Tony Rodriguez, School Committee. Mark Agostino, Vice Chair, School Committee. Ms. Susan DeCastro, Ward 4 Counselor. And Mr. Miller. And Michelle DeBoer, State Representative. Welcome all. Okay. So. Let me make sure we have schedule lesions. First, we'll have remarks by Mayor Sullivan, a distinguished guest. So, if you want me to do the introduction? Or you? Want me to do the long introduction? <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> Our keynote speaker today is, is Honorable Mayor Robert Sullivan. Mayor Robert F. Sullivan was born and raised in Brockton, Mass. He's the son of Robert and Susan Sullivan and grew up on Lunton Street in Ward 2. 
He attended Brockton Public Schools, Whitman Elementary, West Junior High, and graduated from Brockton High School. Class, do you want me to tell him what year you graduated? <laughs> you don't need to say anything. <laughs> he earned his BA and MBA at Boston College and his Juris Doctorate at the New England School of Law. Prior to be elected mayor last year, two years ago now, he has served on the Brockton City Council as Council at Large since 2006. In that role, he was elected by his colleagues to serve as City Council President five times. He previously served as a volunteer board member of the Good Samaritan Medical Center, 2009-2019, St. Joseph Manor Nursing Home, and Brockton Historical Society. He is a volunteer youth, soccer, baseball, and basketball coach within the city of Brockton, and he's a member of Our Lady of Lords Church. He is married to Maria Louise Sullivan, who also grew up in Brockton, and they have three children. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Mayor Robert Sullivan. Thank you very much, Dr. Cobbs, distinguished guests, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, children. Thank you for being here. But tonight, it's your night. It's your night. Brockton is known as the city of champions, and you're one of the champions within our city. So tonight is a culmination of your hard work, your dedication, you, you might have got knocked down because of COVID and life might have got in the way, but you got back up. That's what champions do. And tonight, when they read your name and you get that diploma, you are a graduate. No one can ever take that away from you. You are a graduate. Now that piece of paper you get tonight, that's your ticket for a future. You can use it in many ways. You know, you might go into the workforce next year, or you might be there now. You might go into the armed services to protect our nation. You might go on to college. But whatever you do, never, never leave Brockton. Brockton is you, and you are Brockton. That's what it is, right? So I don't know where you're going to go in life. You know, you might go to California. You might go to Europe. I don't know where you're going to go. But just know this. Brockton respects you is so proud of you and will always be home, always be home. So again, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for what you have done. Again, with COVID, with the pandemic, it changed everything, right? Emotionally, physically, financially, you know, we have lost so much here in the city and in the Commonwealth and in the nation. But tonight is a night to just say, I am proud of each and every one of you because you're graduates, and that's what it's about, right? All right, so listen, I just wanna say, on behalf of everybody up here and everybody over there, thank you for not giving up on yourselves, because life is difficult, right? We have trials and tribulations, but as I started the speech, it's about where we're from, City of Champions. The fabric of Brockton has always been about diversity, right? And when I look out here today, this is Brockton. This is what it's all about. So again, congratulations. Know that each and every one of us are proud of you. Your future is within your grasp. And as my daughter, Grace, who's 11, says, Dad, be the kangaroo. And I always say, what does that mean? And she said, Dad, don't you know, kangaroos cannot jump backwards. They're only physically able to jump forward. So for the rest of your life, move forward. Be the kangaroo. Jump forward. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Okay. Our next speaker is, I'm sure most of you know, if you don't, you should. My boss, Superintendent Michael Thomas. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Cobbs. Um, first, I want you to give a round of applause to two groups of people that helped you get here today. First, I want to thank your teachers, Dr. Cobbs and all the teachers and counselors that work in the Edison program. So please give them a round of applause, and I appreciate your hard work and all you have done for this great group of students. So thank you. 
And now, graduates, I want you to look into the stands and give a round of applause to your parents, your grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, and friends who supported you through all this to get you to this day. So parents and friends and relatives, thank you so much. We really appreciate your support. Uh, you got here today through hard work, and I couldn't be prouder of you. I want to thank the school committee, the mayor, and the city council during some really tough budget when the school committee had to continue to cut programs and eliminate staff. They have always supported our pathways to getting a high school diploma, and Edison Academy is our biggest pathway with our most graduates. So thank you, school committee, for always supporting this program and this school during the most difficult time. And finally, to you graduates, I look before me and I see such a wonderful, beautiful group of diverse people, young people. You are the people that are going to change the world and make it a better place for everyone. So thank you. Go forward. Do the great things you're going to do, and you're going to make us proud. And like the mayor said, you're always from Brockton. And to quote the late, great Marvin Hagler, who we lost this past March, who was a great Brockton champion, Marvin always said, you can continue to get knocked down over and over again, but it's the person who continues to get up is the true champion. And tonight, you are truly champions in the city of champions. Thank you and God bless you all. So the next speaker is our vice chair of the school committee, Mr. Mark D'Agostino. going to step down, but these guys are a little taller than I am, and my short legs, that would have been a bad episode. You all probably would have got a laugh out of it, though. <laughs> um, so let me first congratulate you all on behalf of the school committee um, and just talk about, we know that um, this group faced a lot of challenges to get here. Uh, you know, you're going to school at night, you've got families, you've got work, um, and then let's throw a pandemic into the mix at the same time. Um, if ever there was a group that was a model of perseverance and continuing to stand and fight for yourselves and for your families, this is it. You know, and we are so proud of each and every one of you um, for not giving up and for keep going and keep pushing. Um, you know, what a, what a difficult time this was, but you're all here. And many of you tonight, this is a huge class and this is awesome. Um, you know, so I really just want to uh, express the, the school committee's congratulations and the respect we have for how hard you've worked uh, to get to this day and thank your families for their supporting you. Um, and, uh, you know, again, like the, the mayor said, you know, you're at a point in life here where everything's open to you. So think about what you want in life because you can do it. This is, this is the beginning of whatever you want. And uh, I hope you'll, you'll take and seize the opportunity that's in front of you at this point in your life. So again, congratulations, and um, thank you for uh, making us so proud and showing what it means to be Brockton strong. Thank you. So our first student speaker, we, I think the highlight of graduation commencement every year is hearing the students speak. You know, we're all adults, we've all been through school and college and everything else, and who wants to hear a bunch of old people talk? <laughs> but truly, the stories that you guys have, like everybody said already before you, your stories are what, what makes Edison Academy, Edison Academy. So with that said, I'd like to bring my first student, Rafaela Fortes. Hello. Get a little delayed when you speak. 
It's an, it's an honor for me today to deliver the commencement address for this incredible student body. Dear teachers, as I'm going off into a new chapter of my life and closing this one, I would like to say thank you to those who never, sorry, I'm shaking, sorry. I would like to say thank you to those who have stuck with me until the end. Thank you for your words of encouragement when I had no will to make it through. Thank you for, for the advice which I'll carry with me on this new life journey. Thank you for teaching me the <clears throat> Thank you for, te for teaching me this teacher that helped me choose the path I am on now. Teachers, thank you for providing the time, dedication, patience, and hard work that it takes to the most challenging, re rewarding job in the world. To you all, thank you for all the memories I will forever cherish. We have all grown together, and it was a pleasure to me. I wish you all nothing but the very best very well. I'd like to open a parenthesis to thank my best friend, Tiffany Miranda, from the bottom of my heart for being patient with me for explaining algebra and geometry to me. <laughs> I needed help too. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Gomez, the strong woman that I can, I'm not seeing here, but thank you for all her support. I also want to congratulate my fellow classmates. We did it! Yeah. I also want to congratulate my oh sorry i would like to ask for a minute of silence in honor of all our friends and families who lost their life this year and did not have the opportunity to be here today and celebrate this moment with with us I would like to say the names, but they are a lot. Take care this summer, friends. And yes, this is my second time graduating, so thank you. And congratulations. All right, good job. Nice job. Good job. See, I told you it's more fun to hear students talk than adults. My next speaker is Landria Mosi. All right, I'm going to adjust it up for you. Thank you so much. Now I'm in trouble, Jesus. <laughs> like Rafaela said, I'm shaking. <laughs> Let's try to do this, right? <laughs> so, this gentleman behind me already did my speech, so I don't know what I'm doing here, but let's try this. <laughs> Good evening, families, friends, Edison Academy teacher, the principal, the administration, everyone here. And the stars of the night, us, the graduated. Woo! Finally, we did it. We are here. Finally, we are graduating. This is now the beginning of our education, the first chapter. And from here, our careers, 
and life continues, fought even stronger from our graduation tonight. The pandemic has not made it easy for us, especially the teachers and for sure us, all the students. We all been challenged, but we did not let this stop us. No, we did not, because we are standing here after everything in this past year. Our teacher have done an amazing job fighting through the challenge. Night, even they're not here. <laughs> I feel so happy and proud of myself and all the students here because of the hard work, very, very hard work we put in this, in every class, even virtual, but we made it. I came to America in 2016. It's been over four years and a half. And since that I got here in this country, I've been trying to learn English properly, and it wasn't easy. I remember people always asking me, why are you studying when you can't be making money? Believe it or not, it never been about money, but my, my education. especially for my kids, because I want them to be proud of me one day, because I did it for myself. And for them, of course. I'm sorry. I attended Catholic Charity for English classes. I attend even at Adult Learning Center for English classes. And I tried to go to the master's site. When the pandemic hit, I was pregnant, believe it or not. And then someone told me about Edison Academy. And today, here I am standing in front of everyone, every graduate, my family, my friends. I did it. I'm a wife, I'm a mother of two beautiful children. I'm a full-time worker. I used to get up at four in the morning to go to work, come back straight to my classes. Every single day tired, but I never give up.
I remember all the time my daughter was like, Mommy, you got this. But with my family, by my side, support me all the time. My friend, I have this friend at work. She's here tonight. Every single break, I was there with my paper studying. Sometimes I was even explaining to her, and she was like, I don't understand anything. <laughs> but she was helping me at the same time. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I want to say thank you to my family, my friends, who support me entirely to get here today. I want to say big, big, big thank you to Edison Academy, who continues to provide great opportunity for all of the adults here to make this happen. To have a chance in getting an education. Thank you so much. We did it! Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. That ends the, our student speakers. Um, I have a few remarks from my young students and older students, and then we're going to take care of the diploma business. So. I will try to be quick. I know you want to get out of here. So, class of 2021, it's been quite a year. As everybody who's come up here already has said, it's been a very trying year for learning, adjustments, virtual learning, hybrid learning, back to in-person learning, in the classroom with your teachers, your peers, other adults that maybe you've never met before until this summer semester. Yet, you all persevered. You adapted, you overcame all your obstacles. You did it. You made it. You're here. So now what? You know what? It really doesn't matter what comes next. All of you will choose your next path. You'll choose wisely and you'll, just like you did when you came here, you persevered. You go to college, tech school, military service, the workforce, entrepreneurship. It really doesn't matter where your chosen path will take you. What really matters is knowing that whatever your next challenge that you face, just like the ones you face to get here today, you got this. You got this. I want you to take a minute, look to the person to your left, and look to the right and say, you got this. You got this. Now, almost done. I want you to close your eyes and say with me, I got this. I got this. You know you do. You know what you do. So Edison Academy, class of 2021, I wish you great success on your next path and your next journey and I wish you Godspeed and congratulations. The last thing I want to say, obviously I would be remiss if I didn't say Edison Academy staff, you're the best. Hands down, you're the best. I've worked with all of you for the last eight years and every year you show up, every summer you, you work through it with all of us and you help the students, you support students and you help them graduate, you help them change their path in life. Thank you very much, congratulations. Okay, now, diplomas, let's get to the business.
Thank you. The students are always the best. Because we're hearing from the students. Yes, Who wants to hear from us old folks? The students are they're the best. All right, I got work to do. Congratulations, class of 2021. Parabéns, classe de 2021. Felicitations, class 2021. Felicitations, class 2021. To make sure parents and students are not confused about how we will um, call in our graduates, I wanted to let you know that we'll be calling those first three students first. Trishawn Jefferson, Ella Fort, and Landira Mosey. Jeremiah Abreu. Mayara Afonso. Luis Orlando Alfama. John Alaiko Bune. Farayilda Alonso. Luis Alonso. Luis Alvarez Naula. Jason. Michaelin Al. Safira Alf, Danielson Andrade, Jennifer Andrade, Jose Andrade, Andrade, Joshua Antoine. Varli. Armand Sonny August Marvins Augusta Jared Bass, Jamoni Barrows, Maria Barros, Domingos Barros Barbosa, Nakari Baskin Leary,
be generous. And the son Bastia. Can we slow down, please? Can we slow down? Open up here. When did she tell us what she's doing? Jessica Gloria. Come on. Okay. Where are we? Tyler Daggett. Tyler Daggett. Fatima da Grassa. Mayara da Grassa. Ariana da Silva. We're good. We have it. Thank you. Melissa da Silva, Maria da Veiga, Ariana da Silva, Ariana da Silva. Yeah, she, she, she'll tell us. Melissa da Silva. Maria da Veiga. Nadeja de Andrade. She should take it. In. No, I don't have that. Deja de Andrade. Jerry de Barros. I just read the list. Sarah Daiti. Doc Delice. Carly de Miranda Biresh. Carla de Pina. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you so much. Eric Jason. Eric Jason Thank you. Manuel Dupina. Okay. Okay. Milton. Milton Rosa. Dalton Ducanto. Natavia Ducanto. Natavia Domino. Emmanuel Downing. Andrew Duarte. Andrew Duarte. Thank you. Jovaniel Estrella. Maria Fernandes. Thank you. Kelly Fernandes. It was Maria. Maria. Kiana Fernandes. Susanette Fernandes. Venice Fernandes. Amanda Flynn. 
Coley, Foley. Foley. Yves François. Tanai Frazier. Just go with the beast. Jersey. 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 Taikira Gaines. Yes. Sid Garcia. Ricardo Garcia. Andrew. Angel Garcia da Silva. Gina go for it. Carla go. I see you tomorrow, Gina. <laughs>
she, how did he hide it? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Ashley Jean Baptiste? Ashley Jean Baptiste? Thank you. Loris Jean Francois. Barbosa. Shonito Lopez de Jesus. Justiniano Lopez Amaya. Ogaya. Oralia Lopez Marroquin. Dallas Louis. Walter Mains Jr. Thank you. Elizabeth Maining. Iberto Martins. 
Claydine Mascarenhas. Claudia McNeil, Alexander Mendes, Angela Mendes, Jennifer Mendes, Martin Mendes, Ryan Mendes. Afsana Mem, Kelvin Miranda, Tiffany Miranda, Ramon Mojica Jr. Jeanette Monteiro. Jeanette Monteiro. Josiana Monteiro. Ralph Morantus. Ivanio Moreira, Sanchez Morenzi, Zigvana Moreno, Tejon Morgan, Freedens Odney. Nelson Oliveira, Paola Oreo Rivera, Daniel Arso, Jalisa Ortiz. Tiffany Ortiz. Jeffrey Parcarraca Hinostrosa. Nick. Nick Ayoton Pereira. Mira Pereira. Naira Pereira. Jeffrey Perez Rodriguez, <laughs> Ivandro Pina, Jorge Pina, Emily Pinto Moniz, Patrick Pires. Soraya Pires Alves, Jaheen Porter, Trinity Porter, Jalen Powell, Armani Reigns. Shaquem Richardson, Louis Rivera, Mara Rivera, Stephanie, Stephanie Rocha, Anthony Rodriguez.
Raul Rodrigues. Thelma Rodrigues. Maria Rodrigues Lopes. Jeremiah Romano. Kermi Sagai. Sean Samity. Amari Scott Andrade. Jennifer Semedo. Ruben Semedo. Davinia Semedo. Giorquel Silva. José Silva Jr. Clarice Silveira. Odair Silvestre. Nicole Smith. Clavia Spinola. Gonçalo Spinola da Silva. Uzaia Silva Young. Stephanie Tavares, Betson Tavares de Pina, Ivania Teixeira, Ivania Teixeira, Naila Teixeira. Yes, Naila Teixeira. Christopher Toussaint. Kevin Toussaint. Faith True Heart. Jessica Celine Bass. Paola Bergano Fajardo Sune Vernon Tosita Vicente Aidney Vieira Aidney Vieira Alino Vieira Tyler for Madness Jake Walker, Lance Williams, what did you say? Dana Wilson, Malik Young, Makai Young.
Benson Zamor. Brian Zapata Segura. Norma Zavala Diaz. Thank you so much. Oh, please. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations again. <laughs> That will get me either. Okay, graduating class, Edison Academy. You're not a graduating class anymore. You're graduates. Congratulations. Edison Academy, stand please. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Okay, one last thing to say. Graduating class of 2021, class dismissed. Yeah! Woo! Woo! You can go! Woo! Great job. That's great tonight. Right. Every time. Every year. Great job. Thank you for coming back. Absolutely. Well done. I, could, I couldn't have done Thank you. I couldn't have done this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.